Good evening and welcome to the second Cyber House Party, to this lively recorded introduction to you all to an evening of fun and frolics. We are delighted, the team here, to be with you once again for the second Cyber House Party after the, uh, the great success of the first. So in case you don't know who I am, this is Cyber Clive, fighting cyber crime, wherever he finds it. Uh, in beginning this introduction by letting you all know that tonight there's going to be an opportunity to have fun whilst raising money for good causes. We're raising money tonight for NSPCC Childline and for Mind. So that's children, vulnerable children that need our protection and anyone with mental health issues, particularly during this, this difficult period. So there's an evening of panels and interviews and then DJing. I shall certainly be popping my DJ on around 6 p.m. Uh, to while us away into the early hours. But first of all, uh, Chris Heppel, who do we have to thank? Thanks, Clive. Um, and we... Cyber Clive, if you don't mind, Chris. <laughs> Bit of respect. Sorry, Cyber Clive. So um, a, a thanks to the 36 speakers who have got involved to help us um, uh, launch this event, produce this event, plus 27 other organisations who pitched in to help out, uh, notably um, our Platinum supporters who have helped us achieve our fundraising goals. So a big thank you to Sakama, uh, JumpSec, AKJ Associates, uh, who run the E-Crime Congress, Telstra Purple, Longwall Security, Intasso, uh, Ken Monroe and team at Pentest Partners, AllowList, Risk Ledger, and a, another thanks to them for a, an awesome idea with the beer promotion, uh, plus Custodian 360, who are doing uh, a little sideline event, a social distancing event this evening to support our efforts and fundraising effort. And then a number of gold partners and donators, Cyber Defense Magazine, uh, the value added distributor E92 Plus, iSystems, the B2B marketing agency transmission, and lastly, silver partner donator, Secure IT Consult. Um, plus another little shout out to Cyberchain Alliance, White Hat Ball, Tech Vets, Pulse Conferences, Jess and FC and team at Cygenta, Trend Micro, Prism Create, and Sakama, all of which have helped us deliver tonight's event. So a big thank you from us. That's remarkable, Chris, how you managed to reel off all those helpers and all completely out of your head without Indeed. really thinking. That was quite remarkable. Uh, so, Sean, tell me, why have I been dragged away from my socially distant pub to help do this thing all over again? What on earth were you thinking? Uh, yeah, you asked me. Um, so, I think we, we originally intended it for um, the purposes of uh, fun, uh, and obviously the COVID-19 lockdown uh, scuppered our plans for InfoSec uh, last year. So why have we done it again? Um, I think there's a couple of reasons. I think one, it, it was fun and it was for good causes and we raised a, an awful lot of money, money that the charities didn't have uh, the day before we did the, the last event. Um, two, we touched a couple of people in terms of their, their, their mental health state at the time and brought them back to being motivated and, and wanting to do uh, a lot more in, in terms of helping us, which is, is represented in some of the charitable donations that have, we've already received. You know, we've, we've nearly already hit our target. Um, we really want to drive that. Uh, that is our goal, is to get as much money as we possibly can for two brilliant charities. Mind, who obviously help people who are struggling with mental health and, and, and start to bring them onto a, a path that they can get happy again. And then obviously Childline or the NSPCC, which we really, really, really want to get behind because there are vulnerable children that need our help right now. And that is the reason that we've done this again. Thank you, Sean. When you say we've almost reached our target, you mean obviously our minimum target. Uh, minimum. Okay. Our maximum target, I think I'm right in saying is $1 billion. $2 trillion. Ah, right. OK, well, it's gone up since I last year. <laughs> so, Mark Avery, uh, let, give us an idea of what's going to be happening on the bill of fare tonight, could you? 
So as well as raising money for those two great charities, we are also raising awareness for the National Museum of Computing at Bletchley Park, who really need some, uh, some help from us right now, and also the Cyber Helpline, who help the victims of cybercrime. And one of our main goals for this evening and our events is to help more people get into cybersecurity and also help the people that are in there in the community already. So what you'll see tonight is a diverse set of, of discussions and, and people on those discussions. We've really helped to try and bring those barriers down and encourage aspiring leaders and people onto the panels that wouldn't otherwise be there. And particularly those who've, who've got a really good story to tell and, and, and can help our audience um, to, to, to get some benefit from that. So it's gonna be a great evening. We've got a wonderful selection of, of topics. We're talking about a couple of serious ones, which are mental health uh, and diversity. And uh, we've also got some, some humor in there. And of course, we've got the, uh, the DJs coming up later on. You'll find the agenda online on our website and you, you can see the running order of, of, of everything that's going on. We'll also post the agenda onto the YouTube channel and come and join us on social media. Um, you know, a bit later on, maybe about eight o'clock to half past eight, DJs will start, time to kick back, relax. We'll be having a drink as well and, uh, you know, get the family involved and, uh, and, and turn us up loud. And I think we've got you and I as roving reporters doing special outside broadcasts from the Museum of Computing in Bletchley and Eastcote Place in London. Yes, we do, Clive. We're, we're delving deep into the, uh, into the history books this evening and, and going back to World War II and uh, and and yeah it's going to be uh, it, it, it's good look out for that one. Well thank you for that do look in for Cyber Clive Investigates later on folks but Thunder how have we been doing this second time round with the build-up? So there's been a lot of uh, buzz online uh, Cyber Clive in the run-up to the event um, so uh, lots of posts lots of enthusiasm you know you could really feel sort of the, the tension building towards uh, this evening and um, so yeah let's keep the conversation going I'd say during the event if you want to um, follow us it's at How Cyber on Twitter or on LinkedIn you find us uh, under Cyber House Party um, Hashtag is cyber, um, cyber house party naturally. And um, there is of course still time to donate. Um, so we would love for you to maybe take a minute to check the website for the, for the link to the um, funding page. And yeah, and enjoy the event. And the one thing that um, I also wanted to mention was uh, there's been a great buzz also um, following the article uh, from our media partner who's uh, in for security magazine. So big shout out to them as well. And big thank you and yeah and enjoy the event so let the floodgates open for fun and funding uh to from all the team here responsible and all the people that have supported and myself cyber clive uh have a great evening folks really enjoy it and give generously until then until we meet again good night <laughs>